Welcome to Would You Rather. I'm Tigus. It's my wife, Erin. Hey, guys. So, we're back again to see what we would rather do. Or maybe we don't want to do anything, but we have no choice. <laughs> Alright, so in this case, I would probably go for telekinetic. Because, honestly, I don't want to know what goes on in most people's heads. <laughs> I would also like to be able to sit here and be like, drink, come to me. It would also depend on how strong your powers were with each one. Because if you could only do telepathy if they were directly thinking something at you, then that would technically be useful. But if you just heard everyone all the time, that would probably not be good. And you'd get confused and it would be mm -hmm. like, you don't like me. But they're like having just a momentary lapse, whatever. So I, th yeah, that would be, would be bad. Um, telekinetic as well. You could be like, I'm in trouble. Knife, come here. You're probably going to use it for weaponry. But I would need to know how strong it is because that's like the difference between like lifting a lip balm and lifting an elephant. Or saving someone from a uh, car crashing into them. That's true. I do a telekinetic, I think, just for the rescue potential. Could just like hoist all the people and cute little animals out of like floodwaters and stuff. I'll do that. I vote telekinetic. All right. 55% <gasps> agree with us. Yay! <laughs> Would you rather wear high heels or wear a dress? Well, that doesn't apply to me. Mm. But a dress seems like it's more... Um, comfortable? More comfortable, but, you know, it's like everyone's looking at your body, not your legs. You know, if, if, well... <laughs> I would definitely go with dress, mostly, because high heels only last on my feet for, like, 30 seconds before I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And it could be like a battle dress, like Xena. Well, any dress, in my opinion, is pretty much better than high heels. So, yeah. 62% agree. Yay! <laughs> Would you rather be a graphic designer or an architect? But both of those are awesome. I'd probably be a graphic designer. I feel like it is more applicable to the things that I do. And you can help work with everyone. An architect can only work with people who can afford to build a giant tower. This is true. Yeah, that's pretty open and shut. 56% would like to be a graphic designer. Yay! You could be rich as an architect, though. People could come and see your buildings for years to come because they won't last 50 years. I'm going with usefulness over wealth there. Would you rather eat a live gerbil or remove oh. your appendix with nothing but a shoehorn? Oh, God. Oh, Now we've got oh a good God. one. How old is the gerbil? It could be a baby. It could be a year old. <laughs> Oh, God. What if it's your pet? It's like your best buddy, Tom. Grew up with you. Mm. Uh. I know they don't live that long, but... Mm. Now, why am I removing my appendix? If I'm, like, in the middle of the wilderness and there's no one around, I would be having to remove it. But why am I carrying a shoehorn in the wilderness? And not a Swiss Army knife. Hmm. Also, it would be like, you'd have to be digging it into you for a while. Like, oh, it, it would but not I'm be... I'm going to eat the gerbil. Okay. I can't. Uh, a baby gerbil. 70%. Little tiny pink one. 70% <laughs> agreed. Ugh. Oh, I was assuming you live in both cases. Blech. Uh Would you rather have your house burned down by a breathing fire-breathing dragon or by the big bad wolf? Assuming you get eaten either way. Eaten. I th yeah. Um, then I would probably choose the dragon because then it would just kill me in like one chomp. Yeah, the wolf might play with you, it might beat you up, it might... Well, either way, it would take it a lot longer to kill me than a dragon would. And you could also be like, yes, in my glorious death, I took my sword and faced down the dragon and died. As opposed to... It's true, it's a lot cooler to die by dragon. As, and especially if the wolf blows your house down by breathing on you, and it's like, oh, you fell over, I'm going to kill you now. 51% agree. It's a pretty even tie. Yeah, it's pretty close. Would you rather get killed by your boyfriend, girlfriend, or by your best friend? I would say best friend because maybe it's like, you know, maybe you've like... Why are they killing us? What are the circumstances? Well, that's what I mean. Like, maybe you betrayed them, or maybe they turned evil, and it's, like, glorious battle between two, two best friends. When it's, like, boyfriend-girlfriend, it's it's kind of like, um... It sucks. 
It's like they're probably killing you for money. Or because they want to be with, like, that, like, Pedro. Yeah, but if they're only boyfriend, girlfriend, and not husband or wife, then they're probably not in your will or a beneficiary on anything. So they're probably just being a dickbag. Yeah. And your best friend might be trying, maybe they're evil or maybe they're trying to save the world. And you're evil. Who knows? Okay, but I think it's going with us as normal people and not well super villains. I <laughs> would prefer that... Uh, someone I'm not in a relationship with kill me because it's like, well, you fucking suck. But it's not like the ultimate betrayal. <laughs> uh, sure, whatevs. Unless we're going like, um, is it Loretta Bobbitt or Lorena Bobbitt? I don't know. 58% want to be killed by a spouse. Not spouse, just boyfriend. Sorry, boyfriend, girlfriend. girlfriend. Would you rather pee your pants once a day at a random time or poop? I would rather pee because I can dry it out and it's not going to stink. Uh, yes, it will. As much. No, it still will. Yeah, but not as much as... Okay, <laughs> would you rather smell poop or would you rather smell pee? That, that's a pretty close tie for me. Uh, at, any, at any rate, the pee is a little bit less... Like, it's clean. Pee is clean. Like, it's not full That's of bacteria. True. Yes. That is true. It's not full of fecal bacteria. I would say pee just because it's the least disgusting of the two to me. Yeah, I guess in people terms. Because I've definitely had the cat pee on me before. And... Yeah, but you were taught <laughs> peeing yourself or pooping yourself. Yeah. All right, fine. 89% yeah. agree. 120,000 people want to crap themselves. Blech. Would work recycling human poop for the rest of your life or work with the dangerous and explosive chemicals for the rest of your life? I... Th I'd probably go with the poop because at a certain point you would just stop smelling it. And it wouldn't kill you, in theory? And you'd be doing good things for the environment. All that fertilizer! Yeah, I agree. 69% of people want to work with dangerous... They're, you know what? Because... It'd be like, how do you lose your limb, dude? I was working with dangerous compounds, helping build weapons for our armies. I'm say I sacrificed to save our country, and it's like, oh, you're a hero. Technically, you could still make explosives out of human waste. Yeah, but I'm thinking that's what people are thinking. There. Or they can like steal it and be like, I'm a make a bomb. Oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say that on the internet. <laughs> Uh, would you rather be best friends with Harry Potter Harry or Potter. Katniss Everdeen? Harry Potter. I ain't going in the Hunger Games. That's just... Well, you don't have to be in the Hunger Games. You could just be friends okay. with her. So you'd be best friends with Harry while he's at Hogwarts and be like Ron, or you'd be best friends with Katniss before she's in the Hunger Games and be like Gale. Yeah, I'm still going to go with the magic. Oh, yeah, because before Katniss, like, she, she's not... Because um... you know that she's going to go into the Hunger Games and she doesn't pick Gale. Nope. Okay, Not Harry that Potter Harry is. Harry picks Ron, but <laughs> <laughs> there's magic. Yeah, it might be more interesting. So sixty percent agree. Yep. Would you rather go to prison for five years or get punched hard in the face every hour of every day for five years? Prison. Yeah. Although that could also happen in prison. Yeah, but at least I can defend myself. I can be like, Shiv, you gonna come near me? I'm gonna stab you. But also other... it doesn't specify what level of prison this is. Yeah, it could be minimum security, so it wouldn't really matter. You'd just be like, I've got my TV and i got my uh, my dinner. That'd be pretty nice. Mm. Yeah, I'd probably go with prison too, because then it probably wouldn't happen every hour of every day. It would still happen, but less frequently. I agree. I'll go with that. 672% agree. <laughs> Last one. Would you rather be... Oh, would you rather be SpongeBob or be Patrick? Um... I don't want to be either of you. We'll be Spongebob. He has a much greater zest for life. Yes, he is more interesting. 68% <laughs> agree. Ignorance is bliss. I but, like it. Yeah, uh, Spongebob is more interesting. I want to be colorful. Patrick's colorful too. True. But Patrick is not very interesting. Hmm, not as much snow. <laughs> and we have a pet snail. Meow. That's true. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give us a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys!